Hey everybody, Miss Mini Lover here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas stocking. And it opens up and you can put goodies inside of it. I know it's a little early for Christmas decorations, but I like to get stuff done ahead of time. Um, what you're going to need is some felt. I got these craft felt from Walmart and they were 20 cents a piece. So for four of them, it was only 80 cents. And I have a white one here. You're only going to need a red and a white. Um, they do have green and black, so if you want to make like a green stocking, you can. And the first thing I did was I went online and I found a stocking template and then I um, put it down to a dollhouse size. I can't tell you exactly what that dollhouse size is, but I'll probably post it on this video when I'm done, when I'm editing the video. So after you have printed and cut out your stocking, you're going to need some sort of pen or marker or something that will draw on fabric. And this is just a regular, like, marker pen. So take your red felt. I'm going to use this side here. And then hold your pattern down onto the felt and make sure you keep it in place. And then just start tracing around the, um, the stocking template. Okay, and once you've done that, you have a stocking. Um, and then you're going to want to flip it over and do one on the opposite side. The reason I have you do this is because you don't want the black marker to show when you put the two together. Very easy tutorial. And there you have two stockings. Now you're going to want to cut those out. And I'll be right back. Okay, and here we have... Uh, the two patterns cut out. The next thing you're going to want to use is some glue. Um, I'm just going to use some tacky glue, all-purpose glue. You can use fabric glue if you want. I don't know how other glues hold up, but I'm sure it won't be a big deal. It's not like you're going to really be um, putting really heavy stuff in them anyways. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a toothpick. I'm gonna put just a, I think that's dry on there, so I'm going to put a little more tacky glue on here. You don't need too much. And I'm going to put glue on the side that shows the black ink. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my toothpick and just run down the black edges. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to want to flip the black ink, the side with the ink on it down onto the other pattern and make sure it's even and if you need to trim some excess off if you didn't cut it perfect you can do that and there's that part now the next left while that's drying I'm going to go ahead and work on the top part the cotton part of the stocking up here and for that I have some white felt um, I just cut out some strips. You don't have to be perfect about it because it still looks really good. So just cut out like a sh couple strips depending on how many stockings you're making. And this piece looks really good, so I think I'm going to use that. You're going to want to run glue across the top of the, or across the whole length of the white felt if I can get the glue out here. Try not to be too stingy, but don't put so much where it's going to leak out the edges. Okay, and once you do that, after I get this little piece up here, take the white piece and place it on the top. And then wrap it around. And oh, make sure it reaches, it's long enough so it touches ends in the back. 
because I'm going to hang mine like that on my dollhouse fireplace. So that way I don't see the uh, joined ends in the back. And you can also string a piece of string on the edge of it if you have like little hooks on your dollhouse and you want to actually hang these. So that's as easy as it is guys. I mean, there you go. You have some dollhouse stockings and you can put candy canes and everything in them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Merry Christmas. Oh, it's so weird saying that. Bye.